What is up, you guys? It is your boy John here from Puma Plow. Welcome back to another American Truck Simulator video, guys. We've got another special cargo or special. I need to figure out what they're called so I can remember what to call them. But I've got 95 miles to get there to pick it up. So I'm going to do that and I will bring you guys right back in. By the way, we have a different truck today as well. I have a different truck. Still a, still a, you know, kind of worse W900, but a different truck. Anyway. See you guys at the load. All right, guys, we are pulling up to grab our load. Like I said, it's another special cargo, special transport, whatever the heck it's called. And we've got a different truck that I haven't used in quite some time. I'm not even going to lie. I haven't driven this truck in a while, but it's all good. It's all good. So let's grab our load. Then we'll hit the road. Just saying. Must grab our load and then we'll hit the road. I kind of, I'm torn. I, I kind of want to go with the heavier, like the box, because it's 99,000 pounds. This one's only 77,000. This one's 45 feet long, though. <laughs> I feel like the challenge would be real there. This one's only 25. You know what? Let's take the tank this time. Why not? By the way, you got a sneak peek of my truck right there. It is a W9 with a sleeper. W9 with a sleeper. It's a big boy truck right here, guys. It's got the oversized. It's got the flags on the front. It's got all the stuff that we should have for hauling these oversized heavy loads. Just saying. This is a big old tank. Holy cow. That's a big old tank. That's a that's a huge tank right there. Just saying. <laughs> it's a long. Uh, why am I pulling this with a date or with a with a sleeper? <laughs> I shouldn't be pulling this with a day cab. It'd be a lot easier. This thing. And of course it's nighttime again. Why, why is it always nighttime in this darn game for me? Alright, the truck in neutral would be great, you know. Fill up my air pressure. Oh man, that's a big old okay. Alright, let's uh not not that mode. Let's go here. Low low. Come on. Parking brake was on. <laughs> Parking brake was on. All right. And this is 77,161 pounds. So it's not the, it's the 45 feet that's got me, you know, that's the, uh, that's going to be the tricky part. This thing's going to be interesting to, uh, maneuver. I may get stuck already. Well, we're just going to make it, I think. Hey, buddy, what are you waving your arms for, dude? Oh, that was tight. Just getting out of there was tight. Just saying. All right. Oh, we need to stay over here. All right, let's go. Yeah, that 45 feet is the... Uh, the issue with that I see with this load, guys. So I will say I'm filming this video directly after the last one I filmed. It just might come out like a week apart or something. But I was inspired, man, after that last video, like doing so well that I'm like, yeah, I'll do one more. I got time today. I probably actually don't have time to film this, but that's okay. That's okay. Push it wide, push it wide, as wide as we can go. Out over this way. <laughs> oh, we got to make this dead right turn here, don't we? Oh, okay. We're going to need like low gear for this one. Oh my God. We got to make this turn to get on the highway right here. They are insane. Dude, there's no way. This might be the shortest video of this, <laughs> of this yet. Oh my. That is such a tight turn. Well, we got to be rubbing this guardrail over here to make this turn, I think. Yeah, I have no choice but to start turning. And we're off roading. All right, hang on. Oh, oh. Shut up. I don't even know who's honking. Oh, it's up there on the highway. Okay. Oh, 
stay over to the right or to the left as far as possible here. Come on, trailer. All right, it wasn't pretty, but we made that. And actually, since this thing's not super, super heavy, you know, 77,000 is really not a lot for this truck. So we should be okay there. We can just get up here. There we go. Get a little speed going and get through a gear or two. All right. Now we're on the road, guys. 238 miles. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. Oh, yeah. We're already up to like 40. So. Which, of course, as long as we have an escort in front of us, is uh, the faster we're going to be able to go. Got to have my high beams on, guys. I see a lot more with my high beams on, you know. I'm hoping he gets out of the way, like that last uh, escort I had. Where the guy jumped out of my way and just let me do my thing. That would be nice. Because you can go a lot faster then, you know. And like I said, with the with the no weight this thing really is, realistically, for for these loads, this really is not a heavy load. It's just it's a big load. It's long. It's awkward. I'm just saying, it's a little awkward. That um forty five feet, wow. Yeah, for this kind of load, pretty pretty good size. So yeah. We're gonna take this stupid little little doodad ro road here. Okay. You say so, officer. You say so, officer. Can't really see anything back there anyway. So, I I'm gonna have to start getting better about it being daytime. Cause uh, ooh, this playing in the dark stuff is it's just not fun. You know, it's not as much fun. All right. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. So they got us on the highway and they're like, go ahead, sir. You're good. Proceed with caution. <laughs> That's awesome. That means I can get a little speed going. This is pretty much a highway run here. So pretty well a highway run here. I want me over here. All right. We'll just do our thing, guys. We'll do our thing. Probably going too fast, but you know, it is what it is. It's pretty well. I thought it was a highway run. Maybe I'm mistaken on that. Oh, okay. What are you doing, mister? I guess I was mistaken on that. I thought we were highway running. I didn't really look at it on the map before. So this is going to be a nightmare here too. This one's going to be a nightmare. Got to go right to go left here. <laughs> That's for sure. Uh, we might be okay here. Didn't even go outside the white line back there. Now this bus on the other hand. <laughs> Waiting for me to get out of his way like he can't, you know. Figure out what to do kind of thing. Alright. Man, I was hoping for a highway run too. I really was. I thought, I thought for sure I looked at the map and it was highway like, the whole way. But that's okay. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. We can make this happen. Should I pull in for fuel? I did make sure to fill this truck up. This truck was like nowhere near full when I started. So I, w I spawned at my garage, obviously. So I had to, uh, had to fill her up. Just saying, definitely had to fill her up. All right. I was going to say we have some oncoming, but I think that's a sign out there. Never mind on the oncoming. 
Which, the oncoming really is not going to bother me, being that we're only 15 feet wide. 15 by 15, you know. So, 15 wide, 15 tall. It's the 45 feet. <laughs> Which, I know a 48 foot, you know, trailer, but that's 45 feet, I think, the tank. Not to mention the trailer that's, like, way behind me. And the way these things turn, you know, it's, it's very different than a conventional trailer of course so there's that all right i see some tail lights up there there's a road here they're probably blocking off for me oh that's a little rest stop never mind a little pull off but there is a road up here they're probably blocking for me so and yes they are give them a little toot thank the bus driver you know wait it's not fortnite never mind don't forget to thank the bus driver. That's actually a really funny thing about Fortnite, by the way. Which, no, I don't play Fortnite. Played a little bit. I'm terrible at it, so I just don't play it. So, Okay, here we're getting back on the highway. Okay. Which is good. We got to start slowing this rig down. Use our Jake brake. More real brake. Lots of brake. All the brake. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely should have started slowing down way before I did. What the heck did we just hit for 23% damage? Oh, that car there. I did not know they were there. How did they get next to me? When I drifted over, they pulled up next to me. Are you serious, car? Are you serious? Wow, okay what i get for not having an escort huh i don't know where that guy's going but i guess he's gonna sit tight all right that was fun i had no idea there was a car there you guys could probably see it in that mirror on my hood too right right oh i don't have mirrors on my hood on this truck that's why that's why i couldn't see it All right, all good. It's through my truck anyway, I think. Yeah, 23% for my truck, 1% on the on the load. Or 1% on the trailer, 0% on the load. So that's fine. Not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. Annoying, but not really a big deal. Just saying. Get some RPMs out of this bad boy. Grab a gear and go. Grab those gears, right? 148 miles to go. Not too bad. Not too bad. I actually kind of enjoy these runs because they're not long runs per se. But they're a little more like technical than just they hook up to a trailer and drive down the road. So it's, it's fun. You know, you really have to use the shifter a lot. Especially when you get on hills and stuff. Um, need to learn how to use more brakes. I, I will admit that, but you know, that's okay. <laughs> it's all good, right? It's all good. We are speeding like crazy, man. If we had tickets on, we'd be getting the tickets right now like crazy. Oh, well, <laughs> I got all that stuff turned off on this profile because playing multiplayer you know this is my multiplayer profile as i said earlier so not a big deal really shouldn't pass this truck but you know what oh there's traffic in front of him oh boy oh boy hello <laughs> i don't think you would see this big of a load passing trucks on the highway <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and say that's not uh, a thing you would see in real life, right? <laughs> oh, oh. oh I'm at, I don't have eight high. That's what's going on. I'm like, why is it not shifting? Apparently, I have lost a gear. I have lost eight high, which is fine. I don't really use eight high very often. Sometimes if I have a really light load, 
I'll put it in eight high. I prefer eight low to give me a few more RPMs to help with the hills and stuff. Just saying. I don't often use the eight high, so not a big deal. All about having some RPMs, you know. Helps pull the hills a little bit better. Hell on fuel, though. I will say that much in multiplayer. Of course, I run the W9 take cap a lot in MP, so or whenever I play MP, which you know you guys can find on my Twitch channel, which hey, links are in the description. Just saying, check them out. Um, but when I when I play multiplayer, I usually like the the W9 day cab. Uh, you, uh this truck, I think I have like seventy seven thousand miles on or something. So you know, I've put in a few miles on this bad boy too. This was my primary truck before I discovered the day cab, because I always liked the look of the big trucks, you know, with the big cabs, the big sleepers. But when they were doing that big, uh, big slur, big whatever, uh, the mudslide event, the day cab was just a lot more maneuverable and a lot easier to handle up there. So that's when I switched to day cabs was way back then. And to be honest, I've kind of not looked back. So I have uh, very much so enjoyed, very much so enjoyed um, the day cab. So there's that. Just the maneuverability is so much better. You know, it really is. The maneuverability is just, it's just fantastic. So that's why I run them. So for a load this long, maneuverability is key. So, but it's okay. We're, we're making do. And it's something different. So therefore it's kind of, kind of fun too, you know, it reminds me of, uh, you know, playing this game from way back in the day. Cause like I said, this was my primary truck. Uh, for a long time. This is probably the first, the first W900 I even bought was probably this one here. So I think as I make more of these videos, guys, I'm going to be switching through. Oh, there goes my engine. Uh, I will be switching through these trucks just to show off kind of my, uh, my arsenal of trucks that I have. So I do have a lot of trucks that I, or not a lot of trucks, but I do have trucks that I've customized up, painted up all that good stuff. And I'll probably, I can make some more. Uh, maybe even make a video on customizing a truck. Just, you know, literally that's it. Just just me messing with, with a truck, making it look off cough good to my eyes. <laughs> maybe not. Oh, I got to get off here. Maybe not good to everybody's eyes, but good to my eyes. <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. So we could definitely make, uh, make a video with that, or I could make a video with that. All right, please slow down, truck. All right, we're going to make a big old greasy left turn here, guys. Try to do this one for me, cab. In cab only, although there's traffic crossing me. I should not have stopped right there. I should not have stopped. But I don't have a ton of weight on me, so I'll be okay. I just have the length. That's all. Not a ton of weight here. So we just got to watch our turn a little bit. It's kind of freaky because I can't see that trailer. Can't see all the way. Oh, he's going to hit, isn't he? Nope. That was an ugly turn there, guys. Ugly turn. That's okay. All right, we're going to drift out on this one because uh, right now there's no traffic coming. So this is the kind of turn that gets you in trouble. You don't think it's that bad. But if you don't drift out, you're going to be in a world of hurt. Just saying. There we go. Okay. I guess that cop there was going to block for me. Technically. So that's not too bad. Not too bad. I feel like I just need to stand on my Jake breaker. Oh, not stand on my Jake brake. My Jake brake is a button on the steering wheel, but you know what I mean? I'm not sure where this road's taking me, so, you know. Probably shouldn't go too fast down here. We got a ways to go down it, though. Looks like. Looks like, anyway. Fair, oh, yeah, fair little way. I'm going 22 more miles down this road, it looks like, to me, so. The fair way. Just saying. 
but that's all right it'll be okay it'll be good yeah so i was talking in the last video about it greening up here uh it has been so stinking wet here lately that i've not been able to like cut grass here at the house it's not bad it's it's starting to show a little bit you know uh which i don't have my lawnmower in town right now it's at the farm so this weekend it needs to come home took it down to the farm to do the winter maintenance on it uh decided not to bring it home because when i got it done it was raining and snowing and crap out so i decided to leave it at the farm so i didn't get it wet and stuff i don't i don't have to i don't like getting my lawnmower wet so there's that you know the paint looks pretty good on her still so why not why not try to keep it looking good and not get everything all wet and crusty but uh down at the farm i definitely <laughs> have a nightmare an absolute nightmare down at the farm i'm just saying I need to cut down there in a bad way. So, there's that. At least slow down, trap. Slow as possible. Oh, there's that was a cop, too. Car, and that was a cop, even. And I wish I could... I wish it wasn't nighttime. I wish it wasn't nighttime. We could see so much more if it was daytime. Of course, nighttime adds an element of... Uh, kind of difficulty, right? Makes it a little bit more difficult. Because you can't see where your trailer's at all the time. Just saying. I'm just saying. But it's it's alright, I guess. I just wish it was daytime. Next time I will try my darndest to make it daytime. So I will not be recording another one right away, but I will do my best. And I, I really shouldn't be recording two of these back to back, but it was worked out. I had time today. I should try to record and, you know, try to respond to comments and stuff, but hey, it's better than no video, right? <laughs> Way I see it. Hello there, mister. Oh, there's a curb there. There's a curb. <laughs> Is that what he's waving about? <laughs> like, hey, dumb, there's a curb there. There's a curb right there. That little curb just boom. was all she wrote oh man am i gonna be able to make that turn we're gonna have to swing this thing a wide sorry for my mouse moving sorry about that the camera going all crazy oh watch out for the van watch out for the van shot this is where a day cab would come in handy Just saying the turning so much better on the day cab i think we're, we're gonna make it we gotta crank it back to the left here as fast as possible put my super single up on there we're actually in really good shape i feel like right now Not perfect, but I don't know how you would, you know. I'm not sure how you would actually do that any. Because I was as deep as I could go in there, you know what I'm saying? Like, I couldn't uh, get over much more at all, so. All right, hopefully this hits. If not, we're going to have a problem. And, of course, it didn't hit. Oh, my goodness. We got to back this thing up. Let's see, we need this to go. Problem is the stinger on the back. Or whatever the back part's called. That's the problem. I know we can just hit enter here and, you know, do it that way. But I'd rather not. If I could, you know. If I could avoid that. So far, the back of the trailer's cooperating with me. So far... It's cooperating anyway. Get this over the front end over a little more. See that back's getting getting a little feisty back there now. We're gonna be done here in a minute because of the back of that trailer. And we're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. Stop. Alright, so now.
I'm way over here. Try to get the back of that trailer in a little bit better. I think I need to dive in. That's got to be in there better, right? Oh, that looks way better. Come on. Give it to me. <laughs> yeah, bloody. All right. Neutral. Turn it off. I don't know why I turned it off, but why not? Oh, because I'm done playing. That's why. <laughs> Another achievement. I guess that's progress towards an achievement. Need to do 11 of these apparently so there we go guys we have done it we have completed another special heavy cargo whatever they're called special transport anyway I like my truck it's pretty nice looking anyway uh thank you guys so much for watching have a great rest of your day and as always the toodles